in no man's land in between. But it's two darts at double 12 for Lucas Veinig to get the job done. That becomes one at double six. Now, doesn't want to come inside here. Game, but he shots, goes and the match, in the double. Lucas Veinig. And in the lead in the league table. A little bit of fun between the pair at the end of it, but a 4-2 success for Lucas Veinig over Andy Jenkins at puts the German at the top of the pile. There you see the stats. Veinig with an average more than 90, 50% on the doubles. A 106 in there as well. Jenkins tried to claw it back from 3-0 behind, got two on the board and limited the damage, but Veinig is ahead of Balancheric at the top of the table and she's up next against David Davis. And it's on. Double 12. Game oh, shot on the brilliant. first play. David Davis. When you, as Jim Watt used to say, bang on the chin. <laughs> He's made a great start to another ton topping combo. And he opts for tops Game and he shot nails it. Line. And it's back to David back. David Davis. Three figure finishers. It's 60. She has been in previous seasons. Big chance. For a first win of the night to nil. Game, and shot, that's it. and the match. And that's David absolutely Davis. Absolutely perfect from David Davis on the outer ring. Four out of four, 100% on the doubles, including a couple of big finishes as well, none more so than the first one, the 1 4 1. And that is some response to that defeat against Fallon Sherrick yesterday. He moves above Sherrick into second place after beating her 4 0. Lucas should require it's going to have 170. to be a buffet of brilliance for a 3 1 lead at this visit. Entree. Dessert. Oh, Game it's shot on the gorgeous. Lucas. And only get each shot from Lucas, and it's 3 1. Absolutely delicious. Fifth egg, it's Lucas to throw first. Game on. A nice big fish served up by Lucas Veinig. He could have pegged Veinig back. Game, and he pegs shot, the double. And the match, Lucas Veinig. It's two from two for Veinig, who now puts himself as good as in finals night. Fabulous start to Friday for him and a 4 2 success against Pete McGoin to go with the same scoreline that he achieved against Andy Jenkins earlier. Four out of seven on the doubles, an average north of 90, and the best moment of the match, that big fish finish. The 170, Veinig as good as through, coming next, an important encounter between David Davis and Andy Jenkins. A double tonight, and he's hit all five of them. The run comes to an end. Game but it doesn't shot matter. The lay. David Davis. If you are going to miss, miss mid-visit. Opponent has got to go themselves. Can Jenkins make the most of it? Having to shuffle across. Game and shot. He pins on the third it. That's brilliant from Andy, Andy Jenkins. Jenkins. Darting defiance from Rocky. Can double eight. Get him out of jail. 24. He's had his chance. Five darts. David to take to us the distance. Eight. And the doubles have cost him. Game, and that double shot, does and it the match. for Davis, David but does Davis. it do for Andy Jenkins? Well, that will be revealed as the evening goes on, but David Davis has made a very, very strong start to his campaign on Friday night. A 4-2 win against Andy Jenkins to back up the 4-0 win against Fallon Sherrick earlier, and that victory, of course, does secure Lucas Veinig's place at finals night. Two to be filled. Davis looks like taking one of them. Balan Sherrick fancies joining him and she's in action next against Pete Burgoyne. And Fallon, you require 24. In a very, very strong position. Game Which shot. she does. A 4-1 Fallon success. For Balan Sherrick, who's bounced back from that defeat earlier this evening. 4-0 to David Davis. Started that match in electrifying fashion. Those 4 180s all came in the first two legs. And a brilliant 81 checkout in there as well. In a third of her double attempts and staying 
in third in the table, but crucially putting a huge buffer between herself and Andy Jenkins. Lucas Veinig is in action next. He takes on David Davis in a fight between the top two. Three in hand at double, and then we'll be throwing in the last leg, and he is going to get a go. Double top. Game, and Davis does shot, it. And the match, David Davis. And David Davis with that 112 checkout is through to finals night alongside Lucas Vaining. You here is not just the result, it's the leg difference as well. Game shot on the third. That is a picture perfect 96 out. Here's something to say that if he's going to stand a chance, he's on minus three. Fourth leg, it's Andy Sherrick is on first. plus four. Game on. This is to win. And he's got six darts for it. Does he want to go for the double 19? Yeah, of course he shot. did. And the match. He puts Pete a full Burgoyne. stop on the night. It's a first win in the group for Pete Burgoyne. But Andy Jenkins' challenge of getting to Saturday night is over, unfortunately. And it means that Fallon Sherrick has made Saturday night with David Davis and Lucas Vanig. 89.1 is the average, and the checkouts were very tidy at 40%. But Andy only got one shot at a double in that contest, and that was his downfall. We'll be back after the break with Fallon Sherrick against Lucas Vanek. Fallon, you require Throughout 70. The day. Too many. Double 16. Game and that's shot better the because that one, Fallon that double, has not been cooperating over the last couple of days in the way that she would like. Fallon wants Fallon to get rid of this game as soon 67. as possible. It might not take long. Double 16 again. Game, and it's shot, in. and the and match. Fallon Fallon completes a, a real thrashing of Lucas Vainig, who falls to third in the table. Fallon Sherrick sits between him and David Davis at the top. A 4-1 win for Sherrick, who is heading to finals night with Vainig. We won't see him again until tomorrow, but we'll see Fallon again in the final game. Before that, Davis takes on Burgoyne. He knows what's probably coming here because this man has been divine on doubles and he's going to get a go at one. It's going to be double top again. Pete can't look. Game and he was right not to. Day. David Davis. Honestly, what a showing of doubles class. We have seen from this guy tonight. Hello and welcome back to the live lounge here in Portsmouth. I am now joined by a player who has made it through to finals night for the first time. David Davis, third time of asking. You finally made it through. What was the overriding emotion when you managed to pin that winning double to make it through? Especially against Luca as well. It was always a, a tough ask. So when it did go in, I didn't know emotional joy cry I, I, I don't know it, everything was just like sort of like a monkey off my shoulder I've done it now so no looking forward to it tomorrow yeah and how were you feeling after Wednesday session because it wasn't the first time that you've missed out on qualifying for finals nights on legs difference so how much did that start playing on your mind um like I said on Monday I, I quite like to play Thursday Friday anyways keep the 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 uh, hand arm eye coordination in so but to lose on, on leg difference again then I thought being in this group it could come down to leg difference again so that was just chewing up at me, but no, I'm in now, so no, no, really happy. Yeah, and I spoke to you on Tuesday morning. You said you really needed to up the score, and you certainly did that. But at times in Group B, your finishing has been flawless. You must feel like everything's coming together at the right time. Yeah, I don't think opponents can, can leave me much or, or, or settle up because they know that I'm there and I, I am going to pounce. Um, after Monday, like I said, I did ride my luck. There was a long way to go. I did up my scoring and doubles have helped me out and I've, I've, I've took out some really good finishes this week. Yeah, absolutely. And you're not only through, you still have an opportunity of topping the Group B table. How much additional confidence would that give you? Um, just getting through was the main thing. First, second or third, I'll, I'll, I'll take anything and I'll, um, I'll prove my worth tomorrow as well. Absolutely, you will. Best of luck. 60. The Prince of Wheels. <laughs> Tops for Sherrick to yeah, take the first the leg first and she leg. gets it. A break of throw and it's been a really disappointing night for Andy Jenkins and he's just Second had the manner of a man that's first. looked Game beaten. On. Much like she did a couple of weeks ago. And that looks like a great guide. Game oh, shot on the expertly third Expertly executed Fallon by Fallon Sherrick. Sherrick. 
horror show for him. Balan is flying. 180! The best may still be to come. A maximum to kick off what she hopes 45. is the last leg of the night. How about another one? Oh, it bounced off the barrel. 140. But still she finds five out of six placed perfectly in the treble 20. 180. Jenkins shows what he can do too. Just hasn't shown enough of it this evening. Valen Sherrick has shown plenty and what a way this could be to end the night. 145. Brilliant. Well, no nine data, but she could finish with a 10. And the performance of the group could be saved for the very last 44. match. 44. Fallon, you require 36. It's Game fabulous. Shots and from Fallon Sherrick. Fallon Sherrick. Who seals a 4 0 win with a 10 data to defeat Andy Jenkins. An absolutely exceptional display to ensure that she does indeed win Group B. Produces an average of 103.66 and sends out a message ahead of finals night where she will be along with David Davis and Lucas Veining. Fallon Sherrick ending the night with a wonderful win. Yeah, rounding off that victory with a 10 dart leg. Fallon Sherrick just continues to do Fallon Sherrick things. Biggest average of the week and the last qualifying game, best leg of the week as well. What a statement for everybody to see and to hear going into finals night. She might just be the favourite now. Yeah, and what a group it has been. Let's have a look at the results. It started with a 4-2 victory for Lucas Veenig over Andy Jenkins. David Davis, that victory over Fallon Sherrick, it felt significant at the time. It was, but not quite as significant as that win for David over Andy Jenkins in his next match. Definitely. That fourth game of the night, it did tell us how the story would be told. We knew that certain people were going to be in a comfortable position based on that fixture. But I think David Davis coming through that one, that really did set him on the right path. Yeah, things were so finely poised at that point. Also have to point out, because Davis mentioned it in the interview that we did a little while ago. He said, players just can't leave me on anything. He took out a superb 112 to get over the line against Feinig. But it just shows how confident he is. Yeah, I like the confidence that he's got. It, it really comes through when he's talking. He seems like a man of few words. And he, when he does talk... He's telling you, I feel confident and everybody's got to take note of that. You do not want to leave him on anything because he's hit some of the biggest shots possible. Absolutely. Lucas Feinick as well, rain it raining reeling in the big fish as well this evening. That was really superb from him. And great to hear from him as well, where he said, I'm not telling you what I need to improve. I'm keeping that to myself. That is such a German <laughs> thing to do. It's almost as if he's got a penalty shootout mentality, but he's not going to tell you his tactics. And I like that about him. He's, he's a lovable guy. He's always smiling, always joking. And when you put him on the hockey, he's a very different animal. He maybe has got some secret weapons, but he's not going to tell you what they are. Absolutely. Right then, before we look ahead and preview tomorrow night, let's hear from Fallon Sherrick now. She's talking to Chris Murphy. Fallon, congratulations through to finals night once again. Just sum up how you feel about how you've played this week. Uh, yeah, no, I'm quite happy how I played. Uh, you know, there's a bit more consistency a little bit. Um, and obviously I'm pulling out some really good legs at the moment when I'm needing it at the end of games. And that's what I've been like looking for for the past couple of months. So now it's coming into play. I'm quite excited. And none better than the, the very last leg of the night as well, 10 data. Yeah. I was like, right, hit this because this is a really good leg. Don't like miss it. And I was like, right, really, really focus. Uh, beat the 12 data that you had the other night. Last three times you've been in Group B, you've, you've won it every time. It just seems to suit you, doesn't it, playing these, these late nights? Yeah, no, I definitely prefer playing in this group um, because of the late nights and stuff like that. Um, obviously, when I'd done the week, it was really hard getting up and, you know, playing from the mornings and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I just prefer the night because, you know, then you can wake up, you can pair right, you can have something to eat before you come. And when you're in the mornings and stuff, it's hard to kind of get up, have breakfast and then kind of prepare by like, what is it, 10 o'clock start? Yeah, and finals night, 
you were you kicking yourself a little bit after last time when you're hoping to, to put it right tomorrow yeah no uh I was a little bit because I felt like um I was overthinking because I felt like I played well um the averages you know I was happy with the averages but then when it come to the crucial bits I just weren't closing the games out um so obviously I've come away from it come back and I was like right okay this time next time you come to finals night hopefully you know I've made it through now uh if I need like one leg and stuff um where I've put the work in now, hopefully I can get that one leg and get further and, you know, maybe try and get further than I have. Well, we'll hope you do and we'll see you tomorrow. Well done. Thank you. Fantastic from Fallon yet again. And one thing that you notice when you have a little look and you listen to Fallon speaking, she just seems so comfortable with every aspect of the game and the media side of it as well at the moment. And why wouldn't she be? She's been doing it for four or five years, probably more than any other lady as well. And she's been thrust in, in front of the cameras and she's getting a confidence uh, with everything. And when you have the ability to play darts on a Friday night very late like she's been doing tonight and outgunning everybody else this week with the best st uh, statistics in a game and getting the best leg, everyone's got to take notice. She has always had a level of stability when it comes to pressure but when she's got that explosiveness going in there, everyone's got to watch out. And it really is turning out to be the perfect preparation for the defence of her match play title. Let's see confirmation then of the Group B table. Fallon Sherrick finishing top on 12 points. David Davis relieved to be through to finals night at the third time of asking. Lucas Vanig will also be there. Andy Jenkins and Pete Burgoyne both end in their campaign on four points and a minus 10 leg difference. Now we're going to turn our attention to tomorrow and have a little look at the groups for Saturday's finals night. In group one, we've got Chris Landman, Cam Crabtree and David Davis. Group two, Yella Klaassen, Fallon Sherrick and Lucas Vanig. Group two is going to be quite speedy, isn't it? Which one would you like to be in if you were playing? I think, I'll, I think I'll stay in the commentary box, quite frankly. That Klaassen, and Sherrick, Vanig group is absolutely sickening. And Landman, Crabtree and Davis, I know that David is going to be the person maybe to try and temper the pace of that group because Crabtree and Landman are quick. But just remember what he said. You leave him on anything, he's going to gobble it up. But that has got the ingredients of being a wonderful finals night for week nine. It really does. Who is your week nine winner? Based on the way she's played tonight, I'm, I'm looking at other players and what they've done this week there's been more consistency and explosiveness from Fallon than maybe anybody else. I think we might get a, a Sherrick versus Davis final. Yeah, Fallon Sherrick ending her Group B campaign with a 103.66 average and a 10 data to round off the victory. It promises to be a thrilling finals night. Make sure you join us from 7.30pm tomorrow.